Hello, I'm your host, Zakalei, and welcome to my channel. So today we're gonna spoke about um, Gabby Petito because um, I'm dyslexic and I apologize in case I will pronounce some words to mistake while I'm talking. So um, have you that in mind? We heard so many speculations and different uh, versions of what might happen. And I collect, I collect with my, from my perspective, the evidence if you remember, uh, whoever didn't see uh, the footage, the two footages from police officer in Moab and all the rest from before, from Sister Brian's sister interview, and before that, then you might lose the story. You can click the video here and check the video with the two footages. There's two videos, and you can see both of them playing at the same time but you can hear only one of them and on the other video you can hear the other one so you can see what is going on at the same time with Brian or Gabby so if you remember from footage Gabby said that one of the reasons they were fighting it was the dirty feet when you live um, in the woods let's say and if you're gonna come out from the place that you sleep in let's say for hygiene reasons you're gonna have your flip-flop your shoes some something outside somewhere so when you come out from the tent van or whatever put your uh, shoes go do what you're gonna do and when you come back take them off and get inside to be to have clean feet you know what I mean um, so that's oh, okay so hold that so I think that that was one of them they caused problem also on the footage that the van is on the on the roadside um, the shoes that you can, the flip flops you can see outside the door, eat Gabby's shoes. So and it's literally on the side that we see it's open slightly. So pro I'm sure she was inside that van. Now, if she was dead or alive, we don't know that. Um, maybe they were sleeping. I, I don't know. I can't say for sure, but for sure it's Gabby's shoes from some other footage that we've got um, also the youtuber that pick up Brian um, um, she mentioned that yeah she wasn't look um, clean whatsoever but she didn't smell dirty the only thing that was dirty on him it was his uh, his shoes so again we have this dirty shoes feet whatever um, so it, it, I mean even Gabby was uh, had o OCD the frustration that caused her during the time, imagine when you go inside, you're gonna sleep with your girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, and your feet is like gross. Then probably you're gonna come on and blah blah blah. Then it just built up, and she was already stressed with her website and the and the vlog. So one is that one. Then he didn't support her on her vlog. She was like, oh, you're not gonna do that and blah blah. And, you don't think I'm, I'm gonna think I don't think you're gonna make it but, so he was devalue her I mean even if it's gonna be yeah sometimes it's good to say well the the truth to be honest but if someone needs your support at least give them support just say oh well I'll help you to make it better and don't worry we're gonna make it we're gonna we're gonna fight for it instead of ah oh, such a negativity to be honest Especially if it's gonna be your fiance. And now that I did set the fiance, normally in my country, or the future husband is coming to live in her parents' house. I'm sure she built a kind of more um, connection with the whole family. Because if you remember, they know since high school, as her dad said, and they've been met and they were together the last two and a half years. And also, um, so, and they did this kind of trip before, um, as uh, her dad uh, said in Dr. Phil's uh, interview. They did uh, from Francisco to California um, with Brian again. It was just fine. So we have already the arguing from days before. Gabby also said she didn't let me go inside the car. Uh, uh, he locked me outside. Um, Brian always mentioning that, uh, yeah, I locked the car, I locked the car, I locked the car. So it was always the car, the car, the car. Uh, but hold on a second. 
the car, it was Gabby's car. Also, this one confirmed in um, Dr. Phil's interview with her dad. So it's her car. Even when she wanted the car, he didn't let her have the keys. From what I see, for example, imagine if uh, um, Brian has the, the, the keys and maybe, okay, she, she was trying to maybe to contact somebody or maybe she wants to do, um, mind her own business and maybe he grabbed the phone and then because Gabby was so frustrated so oh my god give me my, my give me my phone give me my phone and remember she was wearing rings and everything on her hands she didn't have nails because if you see it's all of them nicely cut but she had lots of uh, um, accessories so if she tried to get her phone yeah oh give it to me give it, and then he jumped on him because he was tall she was shorter um just to uh, get her phone, her phone, yeah. Um, then by doing that on him, I'm sure he scratched him by mistake without one, and it was from the accessories, 100%. I've seen it before happening in, in my house. It's not nails, as he said. And then when he couldn't, then imagine, he grabbed the keys, he grabbed her phone and he locked her outside and he was trying to leave and probably said, ah, why are you going to stop and then they start shouting and like why you do that and blah 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 and then that's why instead of going from around maybe she thought well what about if she, if he will leave and leave me here by the time i will go around because he said she said as well um that Brian, she was thinking that Brian will leave and let her over there without any right, nothing. In the middle of nowhere. That was, I mean, oh. um, also, they wanted water, yeah? That's why they were going over there when the police stopped them. When Gabby, when the police officer uh, asked her, do you want some water? Yes, she said, can, oh, uh, I think she said by herself, can I have some water, please? And also they brought her a leucosate or get right, whatever. Um, but she said, no, 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 I just want water. Because she was really thirsty. But when Brian, um, they offered him, would you like some water? And the guy and the person went to get some, said, no, 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 I don't drink from plastic. So from where are you drinking water? From the rain? That's why you, I mean... You like to be on the, on the um, outdoor or whatever. Um, so he was not kind of, you know, I'm thirsty, but I'm not thirsty. So let her thirst. So she was desperate. She wanted some water, something to drink because to, her throat was dry. It was, it was so hot over there. So the, um, the frustration was built up. So what happened probably during the time that um, the incident happened. Uh, may, I don't know if it was day or night. So what I'm, th I th I'm thinking that could happen um, or maybe also happen is they had an argument again for something. Because again, it's built up from the last five months they were on the, on the, um, on the van, yeah? So, and it is natural. Um, to have some um, uh, argument while you missing some items or uh, materials that will make your life easier, you know what I mean? For example, water. I mean, if I'm at home, I can just go and grab my myself. I don't have to rely on somebody. Wi-Fi, no Wi-Fi, so if you want to do her blog, if you do her home or somewhere in a coffee shop, easy, but there it was she was trying to uh, upload everything on time whenever she was available uh, Wi-Fi. Um, so um, if you don't have that, then, oh my God, and then it's many things, yeah? Um, so they had this argument and probably there's two versions kind of. So maybe either she got the keys from him finally and probably she said well i'm going for a walk and 
I might lock the car, trying to give him um, the same um, the, um, hard time. Um, oh, parenthesis. And if you notice, every single time, Gabby, she was um, support him and taking the blame on him. In the beginning, when the police officer stopped them, she said, oh, I'm really sorry, I just pulled the wheel. So either they, he said that to say, or maybe he heard her say that, trying to, you know, cover it up. Um, but after when it was in police officer car after, when the police officer asked her, did you um, grab the wheel? She said, no, she was crying. She went, no, I didn't grab the wheel. I just slapped him. And I don't know how come the other police officer um, also um, support the like, Oh yeah, if my, um, if my wife or my girlfriend just slapped me on my hair while I'm driving, I'll do this. Uh, it's not with an ax that, or something heavy. It's a, as, I mean, we heard, we've seen, I'm sure everybody's seen somebody fighting the car and I never seen somebody to do this immediately. That's box, to be honest. And, or I don't know if that police officer, her, um, his girlfriend, is uh, maybe a um, sumo or maybe a um, uh, wrestling um, woman that you're gonna hit him and, oh, come on. Let's not have to be reasonable. And also when, um, when she, when he said actually many times, I push her and he did this way. If you do this way, then you hit here the person. So it's very difficult to see because of the, of the breast area. So maybe, maybe she saw some bruises or maybe she didn't, or maybe she didn't want to um, reveal to the officers, but the officers saw some marks and some scratches and is this branded to you and again she defended him said no more maybe his backpack on on the back of the van and he got me um he took the bl she took the blame uh but after i think um she said that yes um uh, and that brian grabbed her from here i mean who does that who just grabbed the girlfriend from <coughs> Force her to huh? and force her to walk. Listen, no, I mean, come on, where's the respect to uh, it? Just it was too much, and all from this. And sorry, yeah, so that's why she's not have so many, she doesn't have so many scratches because okay, uh, Brian probably he, he didn't have also nails, so because of he uh, he pushed her. But she, because her only defense was, you know, and that's why he got the scratches. Now the mobile, probably yes. Uh, or maybe when he throwed at him <laughs> and then he grabbed the mobile and not give it to her. And that's another one. Oh, give me my mobile. Oh, no, 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 no. Because she was pissed off, whatever. Um, and at some point probably, uh, and Brian many times mentioned that he pushed her. No, it's not right, but I pushed her to... Uh, 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 cover himself. Covering himself? Well, that wasn't cover himself. If you, if he was giving the keys to um, Gabby, it was her car actually. Maybe she wanted to stay in, whatever. This no one gonna, and if he was not treating her like that, like, of course if she will, tr she will do something to defend herself or, or, or he was always saying, oh, shut up, shut up, calm down, shut up, calm down. And imagine that psychological um, a war going on inside um, her head. Or if, if for, with us, if somebody keep thinking, oh, shut up, oh, oh, calm down, oh, shut up, calm down, calm down, shut up. Then, no, I am calm down. And then it's build up the, um, the frustration and the agony. I mean, come on. It was me, and I was so. I mean, anyway, let's continue. So they have this argue uh, of what I believe happens. So either she grabbed the keys finally, she's trying to go away, 
or maybe he um, or maybe she was trying to get the keys from him at some point so they 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 come into a physical fight and either when even if he pushed her again maybe when if she fall maybe she hit her head somewhere and die immediately and that's why I, and maybe maybe yeah or maybe um while they're fighting um he grabbed her from um like here is Gabby in front and he grabbed her here and like here and trying to pull pull uh, the being in a fight um or maybe they were on the ground and maybe he was um it was here and he was um um uh, uh trying to strangle her but not intentionally yet yeah, not intentionally yes they had a fight but i'm not uh i don't think that um he wanted to kill her maybe he was pissed off with her at some point but i don't think harry his intention was to kill her but that's my opinion yeah um say oh he wants to kill her let me finish my story and you'll see I'm always looking at the good side from everybody, so sorry about that. So what happened? As soon as, um, when probably he tried to wake her up, he said, wake up!" Uh, and then Gabby, he, I, I'm sure he started figuring out and having a panic attack, and um, he started uh, shaking again. Uh, uh, he was, oh my god, what I'm gonna do? Um, so he tried to to go back. Since he didn't have a, a, a money, um, he grabbed um, Gabby's um, credit card. I'm sure they had the same code or something. They know each other, and he withdraw the money to um, get a plane. I, mean, I don't know how they travel over there. Um, or, I don't know. Um, and because he was so freaked out, he left also the van and. And the body, maybe it was somewhere, I don't know. He left everything, everything over there because it was deserted uh, area. So no one could see, I think, from what I um, uh, I got. Um, so he offered $200 to that YouTuber to take him um, Jacksonville, Jackson Hole. Um, and probably while the, he was thinking while he have the conversation about um oh so he realized oh my god if somebody found by the time i'm, I'm gonna go back to family um somebody could see the car and maybe by the time i will go back they will get me so i need to go back so that's why he immediately said oh okay just let me out and i have to uh, he had to go some back with another um hitch thing um, so he decided to go back, get, I mean, he had the money, he could get some, um, petrol, yeah, from some, I don't know, maybe he already got it or something, um, and he got the car but that he so loved, apparently, and he drove with the car, like this, um, no one could see, uh, Gabby's body, so no one will suspect anything. Um, until he realized, uh, until he find out, f until finds a solution. I mean, it wasn't any solution to be honest. Um, but if he was freaked out at that at that point, then and then during her, his trip, and her father said that you need minimum two days to go from Wyoming to um, in Florida. Uh, so while he was somewhere there or nearby, oh, also he he t he took her phone, trying to send that stand message on the twenty nine thirty, just to give um, alibi or something, or that you know, don't look for for me, like Gabby, because where we're going, there's no um, 
um, signal. So if you look for me and I don't reply, it means that I'm there. So to make the parent not to worry if they're gonna start looking for them. So that's that again. And on his way back home, his parents, uh, maybe uh, I'm sure he called them and he was already freaked out and probably, oh my God, I didn't want to, but this happened. I didn't mean to uh, kill her, but uh, 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 he stopped breathing and, and he, was, he was so freaked out. And the parents said, okay, listen, don't speak with nobody. Don't call no one. If somebody calls you, don't reply. Come home and see what you're going to do. By the time we're going to hire an, inter an attorney or some a lawyer or something to see what's the best solution, to find our solution, yeah? And that's why when the dad trying to call Brian, mom, dad, um, sis, um, no one replied back to him. And even when he said, you know, we're going to go to the police because to find our kid because um, we don't, we're, I'm start worrying. And he was thinking that by text that to them, he can get a reply, but he got nothing again. But that's why, and then he went home, um, uh, maybe explain what happened. Um, so, where's my phone? We go to jail forever, blah, 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 crying, whatever. Um, and then probably he said, okay, um, the parents said, let's go for a, um, a picnic so we not speak here because maybe somebody could hear something. Maybe they're gonna find her, um, maybe they're gonna find her and somebody will say that they were with you and they're gonna come here and arrest you. So let's go outdoors. In a, in a camp um, to discuss what's gonna happen. Um, and there I'm sure when this is just don't use ATM, probably they got him um, gas for, or petrol for a car, maybe if he got a vehicle afterwards. Um, maybe they bought that phone just to call um, I'm not sure if they can do also that in the state when you can call in a, in a phone booth. So you can go in a phone booth and I can call from my mobile to that phone booth and they can pick it up. Maybe they put a time, uh, so a specific time so they can go to a phone booth and they can try to speak with him uh, somehow. Um, and if you got um, a bank or, or a charger, uh, maybe he got shaved completely afterwards so they won't be recognized since it was a manhunt or or vice versa maybe he got everything go bigger and just make it more i don't know something um with so many days it's easy to disguise um and i'm sh and what so so after that when they went to the camping if you remember they went three they came out two they said and two times the sister went there. So I'm thinking, what about if the sister um, secretly, um, I mean, if Brian went on the ground, get inside her car, and then she drove back uh, on her house. I, mean, I don't know if she have a cellar or something, somewhere to hide, or or maybe they, they discuss where he could go or if they have any friends or maybe have a, a house like a, um, um, extra, a resort or holiday house that they own so he could go there um, for the time being um, he would also I mean he could also buy a wig to be honest I mean and just put on him just no, no, not recognize this is what they do if somebody is on uh, on a hand man hand they try to disguise um, now, why he was wearing the long sleeve? Because of the mosquitoes. If he will stay somewhere, he doesn't want the mosquitoes to bite him. That's that's that. Um, he know he knows how to live in in the wild. So, and that's why probably their their parents gave him time by saying, you know, um, he went hiking on on that area whatever but if he went hiking then 
when so they went for a picnic and then on the picnic whatever what they did maybe they also cleaned the car up maybe i don't know um they went with two cars and they let's say okay leave the car here you live with your sister or maybe you go from that direction something like that um here's some cash uh, i'm sure they had i mean probably they, and they were I mean, um, they were not poor in my opinion um they have this big house with the swimming pool and everything so i don't think it would be difficult to have an also a holiday house somewhere else um you know maybe uh so yeah, yeah. So one of those two reasons. So by the time maybe the attorney said, okay, don't say nothing to nobody until we find out what we're gonna do. Um, maybe when he asked, where's the body? I was like, oh my God, I, I don't know. I just, uh, maybe he tried to bury her or something. And, but it was very, or maybe he just tried to cover it with some leaves or something. I don't know. That's why you have the wild animals over there. And that's um, unfortunately what happened to, uh, that lovely girl. So when Cassie's even um, I don't know if you have watched um, Her sister Casey's I'm sure it was somewhere near to be honest um, I don't know where um, But I'm sure it was somewhere they can have because they don't I mean if if my son and his my future sister uh, daughter-in-law is she's not home then i will start questioning it's not just a girlfriend or somebody that um my son has uh for a couple of days now and now maybe they broke up and she went her husband no they live there for two and a half years so if i'm a father and i will question it because if that person is not there knowing from everybody that she is there then and something happens to her then i'm an accessory then in a murder of what happens actually um and that's why it was like i mean they, it was, they were so calm i don't know how they could do that i mean like oh yeah i mean uh yeah i i, I'm, I kind of fit in my head um, I at some point I understand and it's their son apparently they like him so much that they try to because if you remember um, uh, the story with Chris Watts even after he had to meet that he did these horrific things to his family his mother it was still in denial that her son could do such a thing Okay. Um, anyway, so um, they try to, um, and I'm sh and then the sister was kind of, because they could see what's going on, uh, and again, probably you heard why the kids they didn't ask about. Gabby. Maybe they already said to the kids, you know, Gabby is still there, and um, Uncle Brian. Um, he will go afterwards, or maybe um, uh, Auntie um, uh, Gabby. She's still there with her. I don't know. I'm sure they found an excuse um, instead of letting the boys what's gonna happen. And I'm sure. I mean, how stupid you are! I mean, if your kids they go to school, and if it's the situation of your family, it's it's in a um, worldwide media. Well, I'm sure somebody will spit it out to them or they can hear it or maybe they, I don't know. Um, and I don't know why she blamed the reporters. I mean, that's their job, report. Um, and again there, when the first interview, she, when she, I, I was sure when she said, no, I didn't speak to uh, Brian, I wish I had speak to him. Yes, speak to him, not see him. And again, on the second, you know, after she came out, you know, yeah, I've seen on the first and on the thing, but, um, and she tried to cover it up, which is kind of a smart answer. Well, the question was, 
if I speak to Brian, not if I've seen Brian. So she kind of, uh, um, she tried to play the, the smart bird, but come on. You could see that she, I mean, she's lying for sure. She just, maybe she decided, you know, I'm going to go out because I had enough. I want to go out without um, all this kind of um, people screaming out. I'll say something so they can just shut up. Um, and then they just came, oh, the babies, they were crying and blah, blah. Don't bring this, to, don't bring the babies for, on this. Um, and then she went, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I, we, I if they are involved, then uh, it's better to come clean. Now, it was kind of a message over there trying to say, like, you know, um, mom and dad, look what I'm saying. So you could say something similar and then so they can, uh, the reporters can go away. Instead of being there and shouting. Blah, 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 blah. Um, and again, um, with, the, with the car, probably the, some other uh, recently news. Um, they, uh, I'll see if I can, uh, I think I have the, the screenshot. So, uh, Brian, on his ears, both ears on top, he have those kind of, um, uh, the kind of weird over inside where they, they have this kind of nodges inside, both ears. So it's very, um, I mean, no one has it. Um... So that's one of the things that he can't hide unless he can wear in uh, maybe hair or something. I don't know. Um, and the other thing that when the report, um, the, um, the car as uh, abandoned, it's supposed to be like a five days to be um, with no one inside to uh, report it as abandoned car. So when they said 14 the first time, it was four days by the time they find the car. And I don't know, maybe the attorney said, you know, just say that you're confused and then just say 13, just to make it five days. So they will not, they, oh yeah. So that's why they change all the, all the time the story. Um, I mean, if you, um, I could understand if you were so upset and trying to help and then they, you do mistake, but if you do gardening, and you're so calm. I don't see where the mistakes. Why now? I don't know. Um, and if you see the drone that was on the house above, and they were gardening, and um, Brian's father pointed to uh, his mother uh, the drone, and then they walked in. Uh, there's a small like a well over there. I'm not sure uh, what is that, but could it be? I don't know. Um, and I don't believe the story with he went back to to clean the shed. I mean, why you should leave your girlfriend? Yeah, maybe she has a walk. I mean, just stay there. It will be more expensive for you to travel back home, do this kind of job, and then go back again. And I wouldn't leave my fiance in. In a remote, I don't know, somewhere like with no, it was it was too much. Come on, I don't know how uh, where they found all these stories, but it was unbelievable. Um, so yeah, I believe, I believe, or maybe this happened with a fight and by mistake he tried to um, he killed it by mistake, and then they trying to find a solution, but of course there's no solution. The only solution it was just. Um, um, Surrender. That that's only that's the only thing. Um, I mean, if it was um, a serial killer around, and then if she was killed by somebody else, then yeah, but still, and then you have to have proofs to do that. But to go back and even not speak to no one. Um, I mean, the parents they could easily say that. Oh my God! Well, he came home. He said that this happened, and then he just left. We were in disbelief. I mean, they could say that and they it would be just all clean. They, yes, they're gonna chase in here his son, but now they chase the whole family now. So, where's the balance? 
anyway um let's see what's going on um hopefully brian um get caught um and uh, yeah if you like this video please click the like button um you can watch the um footage over here and um hopefully i'll have um time to upload also the evidence uh what i just mentioned in this video yeah um also thank you so much and i'll see you next time